buy Camel, the cigarette that's first in the service. Camels stay fresh because they're packed to go around the world. This is the music of Freddie Rich and his orchestra, the songs of Connie Haynes, Chris Nazaro, tonight's special guest from Columbia Pictures is Janet Blair, and starring Bud Abbott and Luke Costello. Costello, what kept you? Where have you been? Oh, I was driving down here, right to the studio in my car, and a cop was following me all the way, Abbott. When I went fast, he went fast. When I went slow, he went slow. Well, what did you do? What did I do? I got out of the car. Well, thanks to the cop, I said, hey, officer, is anything wrong? He said, no. I was just siphoning gas from your tank, and I didn't want to break the tube. No. <laughs> <laughs> some cop, some Well, cop. Costello, you have to expect those things. There's a terrible shortage of gas, you know, <laughs> and we have to conserve. Oh, I'm doing my share, Abbott. I don't even use gas. I use beer. Beer? Yeah. Doesn't that make the motor buck? No, burp. Uh, burp. <laughs> I think after all, you're not, you're not. You know, you're not. that's silly. Of course, in some countries where they don't have any gasoline at all, they burn coke. They burn coke? Sure, they put coke in their tanks. But don't the bottles rattle? I hey, know. <laughs> that's silly. Now, that's ridiculous. Oh, I don't know. but I had to pick up my wife at the big bond rally at Hollywood and Vine. She was at the kissing booth. What was she doing? Selling or buying? Uh, what was she doing? Selling or buying? I'll give you one more chance. What was she doing? Selling or buying? Continue. Now, see here, Costello. I'll have you know that my beautiful wife doesn't have to buy kisses. Why, she has lips like petals. Yeah, bicycle petals. <laughs> My lips look like bicycle pedals. Because your nose hangs over them like a mud guard. <laughs> oh, it so happens that everyone thinks I have a very nice nose. It's too bad it's not in the middle of your face. Oh, <laughs> oh you, oh, you, you, oh, you, what a pal was Mary. <laughs> you think you're so smart, don't you, Costello? Oh, I get around. I do a little reading. Did you ever hear of a tree grows in Brooklyn? What are you, uh, a hop that grew in Pittsburgh? <laughs> I don't like those remarks, Mrs. Miles. <laughs> that was wonderful, dear. Yes, yes Kenneth, I really struck him out that time. You're just the old bat that can do it. <laughs> now, talk sense, Costello. Say, Mrs. Niles, Ken tells me that you've been doing uh, some charity work lately. Oh, yes, Miss Abbott. That's just what I came to see you about. You see, our club is putting on a big benefit concert tonight. You know, our West Side Ladies Gin and Rummy Club? That's just gin. <laughs> We're remodeling our clubhouse. The girls' rooms need wallpaper, and the boys simply must be plastered. Well, boys will be boys! <laughs> will you keep all of this? Well, Mr. Abbott, would you and this fat thing like to entertain the ladies tonight? Why, we'd be glad to, Mrs. Niles. You may be, Abbott, but I'm not. I ain't going to entertain a bunch of old hens. Oh! You heard me. There isn't a woman in my club older than I am. That's old enough. <laughs> oh, I'll remember that remark, Costello. I won't forget it if I live to be a hundred. That's two more years. <laughs> now, Costello, stop fighting, please. Oh, well, I mean, uh, oh, here comes the chairman of our entertainment committee. Miss Rabbit, I'd like to have you meet the famous movie star, Miss Janet Blair. Thank you, Mrs. Niles. Hello, Mr. Abbott. And don't forget me, Miss Blair. The name's Costello. Oh, oh. So you approve of Miss Blair, eh, Costello? You never looked at me like that. You never looked like that. <laughs> Well, so you're Lou Costello. I don't mind admitting I'm a little disappointed now that I've seen you face to face. So what'd you expect? A face. <laughs> oh, come on, Janet. I mean, after ah, that. get away, Costello. I, mean, I don't. I don't. Uh... Uh, I thought you didn't want to have anything to do with the club. You said they were a bunch of old hens. Yeah, but you just uh, presented new evidence. Costello. Oh, I mean, those hens have been sitting around so long they hatched a the nice new baby chick. <laughs> Now, look, you're just wasting time. I came here to ask you to entertain at our charity concert. You see, uh, I've been looking for talent high and low. How come you didn't find me? I never looked that low. <laughs> oh, good for you, Janet. Oh, so good for your car. Oh, I'm glad you're telling the fat boy off. He has such a...
such a complex. Well, from where I'm standing, it looks more like a duplex. Well, <laughs> um, um, you might as well know, Costello, that I just want Mr. Abbott to be master of ceremonies. Then the only other act I need is a concert pianist. Oh, so you're going to have a piano solo, Janet. Oh, I love the piano. Oh, Beethoven is my favorite. I'll bet you were his favorite, too. Yes. <laughs> Now, cut that out, Costello. I don't like it. But look, Abbott, yeah, I really want to help in the entertainment with Janet Blair. You know why? Because I love you, Janet. All right, Costello. Janet? You... Yes, you can Janet. help me. <laughs> look, Costello, you can help me. You play the piano solo. Oh, but I can't play the piano because... Oh, I'm... but Costello, you must play. You see, I'll get very close to you. I... I can't play the piano. <laughs> but look, Costello, I'll put my arms around you like this. Oh, Janet. I can't play the piano. But Costello, don't you see? I'll kiss you like this. <laughs> uh, well, 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 well. Costello, play tonight. <laughs> Pastor Reeves and into the smoking beach comes a landing barge. And standing upright in her stern, guiding her in, is a Coast Guardsman. They've got what it takes, these helmsmen of the invasion barges, and so is their cigarette, Camel, first with men in all the services according to actual sales records. Yes, and wherever our men land, we're sending camels, often by the ton. And when they get there, Camel cigarettes are fresh. Cool smoking and slow burning, because they're packed to go around the world. Yes, freshness is one reason why more people want camels now. And another is more flavor, the result of camels' expert blending of costlier tobaccos. So remember, if your store is sold out today, try tomorrow. Camel cigarettes are worth asking for again. C-A-M-E-L-S. Camel cigarettes. Camel's tobacco standard is the same for soldier, for civilian, anywhere in the world. Freddie Rich and the orchestra with the lovely new song, Speak Low. Do. 
Now, do you know what goes from dough to dough? Yeah, a traveling salesman. Hey, no. He goes from dough to dough. Ah, George and all behave. You're from dough is so good for him. Come on, let's get back to the music. Okay. Now, the first note of the scale is dough. Now, what comes after dough? The finance company. You don't know your music. You don't know my finance company. But look, pay attention, will you? First there's dough, then comes Ray, and after Ray comes me. What are you doing in this? <laughs> I'm not in this. When I say me, I don't mean the me that means me. No? No, I mean the me that means me. Now you're talking. Oh. <laughs> of course I'm talking. You're talking, but you ain't saying anything, brother. I see your lips moving. No, no, no. no, no, no. Out. Look, listen, please. Pay attention. I'm trying to tell the scale. The scale starts with dough. Then comes Ray, me, and so. 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 So what? Uh, no. Not so what. So far. So far. So far. Okay. So far, but no further. Yeah. Uh, I did not. This is the end of the line. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Just a minute. You've got me all mixed up. Uh, wait a minute. You even make me put so ahead of far. Shame on you, Adam. Quiet. Woo! Shame on Adam. No, 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 no. He put his so ahead of his far. No, 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 no. Let me finish. After far, after far, so comes la ti do. Do you see? La ti do. Hey, Abbott, I, I didn't know you talked baby talk. Oh, it isn't baby talk. The scale runs from do to do. There's do on the top and do on the bottom. Ah, do on the top and do on the bottom. bottom. That's right. Now, what have you got? Apple pie. Apple pie. No. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. I sent for a music teacher to give you a lesson. And he should be here in a minute. Right, wait a minute. Come in. Ah, good evening, Mr. Rabbit. Ah, Professor Mazzaro. I was just talking about you. I want you to meet my friend, Lou Costello. So this is my little pupil, eh? Why, but he has nice, big, white teeth. You're looking at the piano, brother. I'm up here. <laughs> uh, Professor Costello has to learn to play the piano in a hurry. Yes, in a hurry, you know, because I promised you that Blair I'd play a, a concert tonight. Oh, I can teach you in no time. Now, just sit down here at the piano. That's right. it. Now, place your right hand over the black keys. Good. And when you start to play, you bring out all the little sound of boss It's every big. And if the keys go through the marble saw, you just have a rubber stand remark the face. That's how you come out of all. I couldn't do that to this piano. <laughs> well, let's start another way. We better. You take your left hand, place it over the white keys, and simply run your melodies up with the cost of sound the device. Now, as you come back and start playing, those little melodies will bring out the cost of the ballot force and strike all the bass. Not the real apostrophe. Don't bring it into the cellar. Just straight out the force. <laughs> and leave all the sound of the same down in four blocks with a counter riddle with a hit and sit in these and the four blocks are right. Do you see what I mean? Yes, I see what you mean. It's very plain, but I mean... How do I know what you mean? <laughs> you put a hit and sit and sit in there. Costello, well, why don't you pay attention? He's trying to teach you something. Certainly. After all, I just told you to sit down at the piano and merely kind of fall the race. Now, I don't care if you play Masterpiece or Velvet or Reba Seller, Bill of Honorville. <laughs> but I want you to be sure to play Force of the Caterpillar and bring out the Caterpillar's step. That's my method and it's my secret. And play your keeping it up, <laughs> Look here, Costello. I'll have you know that I play the piano by ear. Don't want to get caught between the cracks? <laughs> Costello, will you please stop insulting the man? Professor Nazaro is a great pianist. Why, yes. I played for that great artist, Nelson Eddy. Did you ever hear him sing Our Sweet Mystery of Canada and Moses? Sorry, boy, Moses, sorry, boy. Or Jeannie with a light bind, clamped hand in vessel, but Jeannie Hall with other fashion, sleepy coop, this will get them. No, but I heard any scene short and blip blip. <laughs> you mean short and blip? No, blip blip. He had two slices. <laughs> well, Costello, move over and let the professor sit down and teach you something. Yes. Now, the fundamental of playing the piano is three chords. The first chord is wince. The second chord is mafas. And the third is twaddle poop. You see? It's as simple as frying an egg. I don't like the way you're scrambling it. <laughs> now, Costello, suppose you try the same chords. The first is twins. That 
That's it. You like that? The second is the best. Good. Not bad, huh? And now comes Dwaddle Foot. No, no, stop it. Do you, do you call that last one Dwaddle Foot? It certainly was Dwaddle Foot. The <laughs> hoop? <laughs> well, it wasn't. It wasn't Dwaddle Foot. You played standing in for force when the Mets had moved recently. <laughs> Costello, why do you fight with the man? He knows what he's doing. Yes, I can make that piano talk. I wish you would. I'd rather talk to the piano. <laughs> In all my years of teaching piano, I never heard of a person telling me to watch the play the pipes. <laughs> Are you taking me and think that I was thought of me or Trace? Well, I can't even all this stuff of the feet of playing all my face. Why, I've taught Mescal, Helgebay, Boston for Bulletin. <laughs> I'll never teach a man who can't find Waddle Foop on the piano. Goodbye. <laughs> well, they... Well, are. goodbye. All right. <laughs> well, are you satisfied? You ruined your only chance to be able to play for Jeanette Blair tonight. Well, I don't care, Evan. No, I'm getting plenty mad. Oh, biffle, biffle. I am in to say a swear word. Now, take it easy. Uh, I wish I never started this thing. I... the lovely new ballad by heart My heart tells me this is just a fling Yes, you say I love me everything Adeline fell flat on her face. She sounded like this. Yes, sir, that's flat. And it can be worse than a cigarette. If you want a cigarette that won't go flat, no matter how many you smoke, get Camels. They've got more flavor, the result of expert blending of costlier tobaccos. And more flavor is what helps Camel cigarettes hold up, pack after pack. Prove that in your tea zone. Tea for taste and throat. Your own proving ground for Camel's rich flavor and smooth, extra mildness. And remember, Camel cigarettes stay fresh, cool smoking, and slow burning because they're packed to go around the world. C-A-M-E-L-S. Camel cigarettes. They're first in the service. They've got what it takes. Presume you'll be playing a piano solo. Whose line is that? Come on now. 
Just take it easy and don't get excited. Hey, yeah, but I can't play the piano. Oh, shut up. Follow me. Pretty music. That's the orchestra tuning up. Sounds just like bottle flop, don't it? <laughs> oh, boy, there you are. Welcome to the West Side Ladies Gin and Rummy Club. Oh, hello, Mrs. Niles. Oh, I'm so thrilled about tonight's concert. Oh, I'm glad you came along because I just had to talk to somebody. There's so many wonderful things happening. You've no idea. I, I just simply have to let off steam. Oh. Down before you bust a boiler. <laughs> now, you wait right here. I'll send Janet Clary. Oh, boy, Abbott. Can't you help me out? Think of something. Don't you know how to play the piano? Oh, I, I fool around with it a little. You know, not much, but I only know how to play one number. Pistol Pack and Mama. Pistol Pack and Mama? Mm-hmm. Is that a new song? Hey, no. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what I can do. There are two pianos here. I'll put a screen around one of them, and then get behind the screen, and I'll play. She won't be able to see me. Oh, and she'll think it's you. I get it. Then I'll sit at the other piano, and Jeanette will think that I'm playing. That's it. Are we going to fool her? Hey, play some number. You know, let me hear how it sounds. Go All ahead. right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, Abbott. Are you playing in a key of H? H? <laughs> there isn't any key of H. I don't know. It sounded like H to me. <laughs> well, that's the best I can do. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Listen, now, we've got to have some signals to do this. How are we going to know when to start and stop? Well, now, that's very simple. When you say all right the first time, I'll start playing. And when you say all right the second time, I'll stop playing. Oh, now, let me get it. All right, that means the first time you start. That's right. Then the second time you say all right, that means you're going to stop. That's when you say it. Would you mind let's having one rehearsal? All right, we'll try it one. Yeah, let's do that. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. That's perfect. Now, on the hoop. Now, he can't see me being by... piano playing is going to do to my concert. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> well, now, Costello, uh, I think I'll just sit down here beside you on the bench. I want to wash your fingers. Don't sit beside me, kid. Sit over there. Sit over there. Over uh, here? Not over there. Way, way over there. Well, Nobody sees my fingers. Well, all right, all right, just as you wish. Now, first, I want you to play... Prokofiev's Prelude in A minor. She made it. What's that? (laughs) (laughs) Prokofiev's Prelude in A minor. Twice she made it. (laughs) Okay, I'll play put the coffee in a pail for the minor. (laughs) Well, I better warn you, Jeanette. It's gonna sound a little bit like Pistol Pike and Mama. (laughs) Well, that doesn't matter. Go ahead and play. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. Do you hear what I hear? Is she sleeping? Well, <laughs> Mr. Come on. Costello, I'm waiting. Why don't you play the piano? I'm waiting, too. Hey, Abbott, come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Abbott, stop playing the piano. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Costello. What is this all right business? Oh, it's just a part of the song. It's the concerto. Now, come on, let's get going. Hurry up. 
Costello. Look, yes, ma'am. Look, Costello, that was wonderful, and I want to congratulate you. Well, I didn't know you could play so well. Oh, you didn't, huh? No, sir. Boy, you're all right. All right, all right. Here we go again. All right, stop that. Wait until I say it. <laughs> Wait till I say all right, then you play. Not now. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, stop. Stop. Don't play when she says all right. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, between five and six tomorrow, we will have another rehearsal. Thank you. I think we played very, very good, don't you? Honey. Look, Mr. Costello, there's nothing to get excited about. Nothing at all? No, not a thing to get excited about. Well, look, honey, please don't congratulate me anymore, because we're skipping all over the joint here, and I don't know where I'm going. Everything's going to be... Ah! Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say what? 